Welcome to Real World AIP. I'm Stacy, and today I'm making hamburger soup. I got this recipe from this 1969 cookbook, the <laughs> Better, Home, Better Homes and Gardens Ground Meat Cookbook. I love vintage cookbooks. I love to go through them and figure out how I can make the recipes AIP compliant. I, you know, tweaked many things in this recipe, but I just thought it was overall a great idea. Hamburger soup. If you're doing AIP on a budget, this is a great one, and it looks like it's gonna be really tasty too, so let's get to it. First thing I'm gonna do is put a pound of grass-fed beef in there. We're just gonna cook that until it's all nice and browned. This beef is super lean, so nothing to drain off there. I'm just gonna add in my jar of nomato. This is 12 ounces of nomato sauce, but if you don't have any, don't worry about it. Just puree up some like boiled beets with a little lemon juice and bone broth. That'll substitute just fine. And at this time, I'm gonna throw in one cup of chopped onions. I could have browned those with the meat. We're also gonna throw in a cup of chopped carrots. Two cups of beef broth. And then I'm also gonna add a cup of water. So the original recipe called, whoa, the original recipe called for an 18 ounce can of tomato juice. So I turned that, I made that out of a 12 ounce jar of nomato plus um, eight ounces of water. I guess I added a little extra water. Also the old recipe was like calling for beef bouillon. No, no, we used the real stuff. And obviously, you know, they wanted real, you know, wheat flour and their recipe called for dairy milk and white potatoes, but we got this, we're doing this all AIP. No seasoned salt in my recipe. No green peppers either. <laughs> I'm gonna use this Primal Palette Garlic and Herb Seasoning. I'm liking these, they're convenient. This is not hard to make yourself though, honestly. It's just garlic, salt, onion, oregano, thyme, and sage. So nothing you probably couldn't put together on your own. I'm gonna use a teaspoon of this. And then I'm gonna use just a half a teaspoon of salt. So now I'm gonna add one cup of white sweet potato. You could use yao tea root, you could use taro, plantain, green plantain. I'm gonna cover this and I'm gonna let it simmer for 15 minutes. So this has been going for like 13 minutes. So now I'm just gonna get the final ingredients ready. I have one cup of coconut milk here. If you hate coconut milk, use bone broth. <laughs> and uh, you know who I'm talking to. Um, I'm gonna take a quarter cup of this arrowroot flour and I'm gonna mix it into the cold liquid because if you don't mix the arrowroot into cold liquid first you just put it in that hot you know hot soup it's gonna like lump up this way it'll, it'll be nice and smooth all right now stir this into your hot soup Ooh, that looks good and then you just want to like stir this until it's thick and bubbly Oh yeah, one more thing, parsley. I have, you know, like a quarter cup of fresh parsley here. So the direction said to stir it until it was thick and bubbly. I'm thinking we're there. It's thick and it's bubbly. Our sweet potatoes, nice and soft. This is so thick and creamy. Mm. Our texture is really nice. That is a really good, mm, economical AIP breakfast lunch dinner snack oh all right these are the 16 ounce mesa jars so you can see this made five really nice size servings i'm happy about this recipe Let me know if you try the hamburger soup, how you like it. If you made any um, changes to the recipe, I'd love to hear what you did with it. I post new videos every Thursday, so subscribe below if you don't want to miss any of them. I hope to see you soon, and until then, be healthy.